Any guesses what we're making today and what I'm doing today? <laughs> Hi guys and welcome back to another video. So, today we are going to be eating a full day of pasta or spaghetti um, just because it's a bit of fun. This video is definitely pointless but it is just a bit of fun and it isn't going to be your ordinary pasta so stay tuned to what I'm going to get up to. First off we're going to start with breakfast and we're going to start with this particular pasta that I found a couple of months ago now but it is very exciting and I am very excited to try it out also. My friends we have chocolate pasta chocolate pasta and that is what we're going to be making for breakfast i was feeling like a french toast sort of thing today so i'm gonna whip up a french toast chocolate pasta skillet <laughs> completed skillet of the chocolate pasta and I just have to add that was absolutely incredible honestly I would have never thought that chocolate pasta would have banged but that banged well I really recommend buying that chocolate pasta I got it from TK Maxx a while ago and I actually put it in a vlog of mine and I made a joke you know um, if you want to see me making a full day of pasta leave it in the comment section down below and actually some of you got in contact and said that would have been a good idea so here we are today as I've already explained and yeah I really enjoyed that pasta so I'll probably see you guys next at my snack. So it is now a little while later and I'm feeling a bit peckish and of course we're only in pasta for today so that's my only option however I'm gonna attempt to make chocolate pasta filled ravioli. Hopefully it will go to plan, I'm gonna show you how to make it, put the camera aside and see how it pans out. So to start off with, we're going to be using this extra fine zero zero plain flour. This is the flour that they typically use to make ravioli. Um, and I'm going to just pour that into the measuring cup. And then because I'm on a chocolate hype today, I'm going to add some cacao powder to that also. And then all you'll need left over is some water. So I'm going to drizzle that in too. And then you just want to mix it all up until a dough forms. And then you just want to take the dough and then put it on your surface. Now I appreciate that this looks very minute, that's because it is and it's only snack time and very close to lunch so I'm not going to make anything really big because I won't have an appetite for lunch. So I'm going to roll this out. And then once it's rolled out into like a thin layer, you just want to get like a cookie cutter. I'm using this egg thing because I don't have a small enough cookie cutter in a circular shape. But you can use a cookie cutter if you've got one. And I'm just going to cut out circles. Mm -hmm. 
And then you want to roll these mini circles out flat as well. And I'll make the remaining later, but I'll just show you quickly what you'll need to do with these circles um, before placing them into some boiling water. You just want to stuff them with some chocolate chips. Then you just want to press them down and I'll use a fork for this. And then this is going to make them look like mini ravioli. So, so far we have three chocolate stuffed ravioli. I'm going to make the rest and then pop them in the boiling water and then cook them up. Okay guys, so I've heated my favourite chocolate Alpro pot up in the microwave for about 40 seconds and now it is time for the fabulous pour. So let's go for it! So when I said only eating pasta for a day, that would be very boring. So we're going to make the... extenuating circumstances to be only eating pasta with a bit of spice in my life and this chocolate is adding that sauce so let's dig in um those ravioli shapes actually turned out pretty well i'm quite proud of them i also appreciate that i'm absolutely gonna mess up my whole face right now with a bunch of chocolate because i'm a messy eater so let's try this ravioli mm. oh my god Oh my goodness, what have I just created? Have I just created a snack that I'm going to continue to make? That's the question. If you guys make this, let me know. That looks absolutely marvellous. Can we just appreciate the insides of that with a nice chocolate steam coming off of that? Delicious. I'm absolutely loving it. Mm. Ravioli on its own is so comforting, but for it to be chocolate, and chocolate filled ravioli with chocolate custard that is fabulous <laughs> so I'm gonna continue to eat that now as my mid-morning snack and like I mentioned it is very close to lunchtime um, so that is only a small little snack for me I'll probably catch you later at my lunch We are back in the kitchen now, ready for lunch, and you may be observing a mini pasta maker there, and you would stand correctly because I am going to attempt to make my own pasta. I bought this off of Amazon, it's really quite he heavy, so hopefully it will work out, and yeah, I'm going to be also making my own homemade sauce. This whole thing with eating pasta all day, I couldn't just have a bowl of tomato pasta sauce and be done with it. I had to be more than creative. So I'm gonna come up with my own cauliflower garlic Alfredo sauce as well along the way. And then on top of that, I'm gonna be making my own dessert pasta because you know, I love my dessert. So I found this recipe online, um, which is like a macaroni and cheese dessert. However, it wasn't vegan, so I've kind of adjusted the ingredients and amended um, the bits and bobs inside the recipe so that it's vegan. Um, so I will um, link the recipe down below and then I'll show how I substituted the ingredients to make the whole recipe. But I'm going to talk you guys through it, I'm going to set the camera aside and let's make lunch. So to start off with making the dessert pasta, you just want to heat up some vegan butter in a pan with some plain flour and you just want to let that melt and sizzle down. Then you just want to mix that all up together. And then you want to pour in some almond milk and some cinnamon. 
and whisk that all up. Then you just want to cook your pasta. I use the macaroni. And then you want to whisk some aquafaba, which is just some chickpea liquid, all up so it becomes foamy and then add some sweetener to that, as well as some vanilla and some vegan cream cheese. I use the nush and then you just want to whisk that up as well. And then you want to combine both mixtures together. Combine it with the pasta also. And then you want to place it into an oven proof baking tin. And I also sprinkled on some frozen blueberries to give it some extra flavour and sweetness. As well as some panko breadcrumbs, some cinnamon and some sweetener. I then pop that in the oven for around 30 minutes on 180C. For the pasta sauce, I mix together some almond milk with some cooked cauliflower, some vegetable broth and some olive oil as well as some onion and some garlic powder. I then whisk that all together up in a blender. And then set it aside to set. For the pasta, I mix together some plain flour as well as some water. I then rolled out the dough and started to form the pasta shape. I'm in my dressing gown. I've got my plate of pasta here. Nice, thick, creamy, homemade pasta with shiitake, mushrooms, and some spinach. Let me say how cozy this is right now because this is comfort on 100. Let's have a little taste of the homemade pasta. I never thought it would turn out this well, but I'm pretty impressed with myself. Little taste test. That's really good. My mum and dad are looking at me in the background thinking, Yum. She's a legend. Am I a legend? Yum, yum. <laughs> yeah, the, this is absolutely incredible, guys. Honestly. I think we need a thumbnail. <laughs> and then finally is the dessert pasta. I put on some panko um, breadcrumbs as well, just to crispen it all up in the oven. And I don't think the recipe asks for any blueberries, but I put in blueberries and cinnamon just to make it a bit more jazzy and put my own twist on it. But honestly, this looks incredible. And along with the vanilla custard, which is also my favorite, makes it absolutely incredible. Wow, look at that. Who would have thought a dessert pasta?
Mmm. Mm, 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 mm. That is sweet as anything and I bloody love it. <laughs> so I'm going to eat up my lunch now and I'm going to catch you guys at dinner. I must say, this is going better than I thought today. Who would have thought that pasta would have been so incredibly amazing? Right guys, so a final dish of the day a pasta dish of course. I'm going to be using this soybean spaghetti pasta which I've shown in many of my videos before. It's from Aldi's but it's a super high in protein pasta and it will just mix up from the other pastas that I've been having throughout the day but I really like this pasta in particular. Um, take a shot for every time I've said pasta within this video. <laughs> But to go alongside with that, I'm not going to use tomato sauce, no, 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 no. I'm going to be making my own avocado basil pesto sauce. I don't know what it is, but I felt quite inspired by others online and I thought I want to make my own. So that's what I'm going to try and do today. So firstly, in the pot by here, I've got the soybean pasta. I've got some soy mince and some kale. So I'm going to light it all up. And then for the sauce, we're going to keep it super basic. It's only five ingredients, so it's super easy to whip up. Um, and that just involves half an avocado, which I'm just going to chuck in like so. Then what I'm going to do is squeeze half a lemon side as well. So this is going to be like a single serve portion. It's not going to make many, whereas that macaroni dessert pasta thing served 12 today. So my, past, uh, so my family actually got the chance to taste it as well, and they really enjoyed it. So... I recommend try, trying it yourselves. And then I'm going to put in a teaspoon of oil. I'm using olive oil, but you can use sunflower oil, coconut oil, whatever oil you like. And then I've got a bundle of fresh basil here that I'm going to plonk in. I love basil. And of course, some garlic because I love garlic also. What don't I like? <laughs> Marmite. I hate Marmite. That's something I don't like. And then to finish off with, we're just going to chuck in some almond milk also. And then we're going to whip that all up in our blender here. So that is going to be our thick and creamy avocado basil pesto sauce. I've got my tomatoes in the oven roasting away. I've got my pasta, soy mince and kale on the boil here. I'm going to let everything cook, throw this in. And I'll catch you then. And here we have it guys, the delicious creamy avocado pesto pasta. I'm just sprinkling on here some pepper. We love some pepper and just some salt also. Now I think this pretty much deserves a little taste test, don't you think? Now this is a beautiful sight, isn't it? Wow, this actually looks and smells amazing and I've been having a little lick lick of the blender and it has been tasting so good so far. Let's see if it goes well with the pesto, shall we? Hmm. Guys, you know what? Hands down, this has probably been the best challenge that I've done on my YouTube. I'm thinking about them all now. It's probably been the best one. <laughs> if I haven't yet done one for Biscoff, the pasta one has been amazing. Everything that I've eaten today has been incredible and honestly, you guys have to recreate at least one. Speaking about recreating, this is actually gonna be the last upload of January, which means there is one more giveaway to be won, which I'll leave an overlay of what you can win within this giveaway for this video. It is just gonna be another Livia's mix of her snacks and two of her Dunks spreads, which are currently both of my favorite spreads to have. Um, so to enter the giveaway, as always, all you have to do is recreate one recipe or more um, within this video um, to enter, and then you have to hashtag on Instagram at Veganuary with Layla 
so that next Friday I'll be able to pick a giveaway winner, I'll get in contact with you for your address and I'll send the package off. It is an international giveaway so please feel free to enter, I'd love to see your recreations. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video, I certainly did. I am going to enjoy my pesto pasta and another lot of the macaroni, blueberry macaroni cinnamon pasta thing for my dessert with some more custard and then the evening on these beautiful meals. So, without further ado, thank you once again for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!